Well, thank you, Paul. Well, it's that time of the year again where the biggest youth festival returns for yet another installment. For the past 11 years, Kula Boxing Day has been a movement in Pretoria which allows people to bring their Kula bags and enjoy music under the sun by various artists. To tell us more on what can be expected this year, we're joined by the event founder, Tebaso Kivit. Tebaso, very good morning and warm welcome. Morning, Zaya. Good, man. Uh, good to see you and good to have you on the show. I mean, it's incredible how for the past 11 years, uh, this event has become, you know, you know, the trademark for, for, for Pretoria and it's become a bigger and better. What is it that you're doing right? Hey, man, consistency, eh? Mm. Thank you very much for having us. And I mean, it still overwhelms us every year, but consistency more than anything. Okay. Yeah. You speak of consistency, but then I would imagine that uh, each and every year you keep on doing something differently in order to attract uh, more audiences. So what is it that you'll be doing differently this year? Look, I mean, uh, we, we are always on the ground and we do what our patrons want. So we interact with our patrons and ask them constantly, what are you guys looking to do? As you can see, the theme this year is new culture. You know, culture is something that people take as something old, but we're creating a new culture for our youth going forward. Right, you know, right. uh, teaching them different things and giving them different experiences. It, yeah. So how will, be, how will it be different to other events taking place around the city and around the country? Look, I mean, our, our value proposition has always been experience. So we've got a dope lineup, a crazy lineup of local artists and uh, local artists from Etridge and from Pretoria as well. Uh, we've got a fireworks display that... Our classes Take in us through the world. some of these artists. Uh, you've got your Focalistic, your 25K, uh -huh. you've got AKA, uh, Jobe London, you've got Lamiz. Uh, it's quite a few of them, actually. I mean, to come up or rather to pull off uh, an event of this magnitude, it, I suppose it needs uh, sponsors. So, uh, did you uh, perhaps manage to bag yourself sponsors this time? Yeah, we did. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, uh, we're always supported by the city of Twane uh, through the venue that we use, and we're supported by. Uh, companies like Casa Light and uh, different companies as well, you know, so uh, Vodacom Next Level, things like that. So it is, it, it, it is taxing and we'd like to get more sponsors and we would like to go bigger than we are already. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're building an international festival in a township. Okay. So it, it, the economic spin-offs are major. I mean, from the township economy to local vendors mm -hmm. through the employment that is created through this event, uh, it's insane, it's crazy. What's your target in terms of uh, the figures? The figures this year, uh, look, I mean, if we could get about 12,000 people, we'd be happy. Okay. Yeah. So in terms of security, uh, what are we looking at? Uh, security from the third, I mean, uh, the perimeter around the stadium is blocked, mm -hmm. so it's a no car zone. Uh, people walk in and then we've got security inside the perimeter, also outside. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh ununiformed and uh, security as well for to you know foil anything that's about to happen but yeah yeah is it child friendly though no is no no it's a no under 18. okay yeah all right so in terms of uh, taking it further next year what are you planning to to do you know to boost attendance figures look uh we're looking at how it's going to turn out this year and we we're very optimistic and uh next year we just want to keep on increasing the experience and maybe we'll drop in a surprise or two with yeah. the act that we put in there you know you know the concept is quite brilliant uh, you know in terms of boosting township tourism and uh, boosting some of the economic spin-offs in the townships any plans of taking it to other provinces as well look i mean uh, cooler boxing day is, a, is an Etridgeville thing it's a pretoria thing so we're more about uh educating the people around us to do more i mean educating the locals to sell something or Airbnb their houses or some sort of park a car and pay for it. Or, yeah. But everybody must walk away with something every year. Okay. Uh, we're looking at feeding the families that we grew up amongst and, you know, more than anything. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if the concept can go further to other provinces as well, uh, look, we've seen imitations that have happened, but we, we are always there to assist, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Sh share with us the details, if you can, as to when it will be taking place and where. And uh, tickets on, as well. It's on 26th of December in Atridgeville, Lucas Masterpieces Muripe Stadium. Uh, tickets start at 200 up to 600. And, yeah, it starts at gates open at 12. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, in terms of pre-sale, uh, where can you get hold of the tickets? Pre-sale tickets are a compu ticket. Okay. Yeah, and online, our website, coolerboxingday.co.za. All right. Yeah. Also, thank you so much, man, and have fun. Thank you very much. Hope to see you. Well, uh, the 11th annual Kula Boxing Day will be happening on the 26th of December at the Lucas Moripa Stadium in Pretoria. We just spoke to the co-founder, Debato Kivet, who explained how the celebration has become a tradition in Archerville. This is Morning Live. We'll be back shortly.